Welcome back to Good Morning Vale. Here is Michelle Maloney from the Vale Valley Charitable Fund. And I tell you what, uh, there's something about mountain communities that you just can't find anywhere else in the world because of the sense of community. And you know exactly what that means, being we part do. of the Vale Valley Charitable Fund. Now tell us a little bit about what that is for people that, you know, maybe they're visiting, maybe, you know, they don't have anything like this sure, in their hometown. Sure, sure. We do have a remarkable community. So the Vale Valley Charitable Fund, is this is our 20th anniversary year. And what we do is we provide grants for Vail Valley residents that are struggling financially due to a medical crisis. We offer one-time grants of up to $5,000, and then when the need is far greater, we offer a community fundraiser, um, an extended grant, which is what we're doing for Christy Buster. Okay, now let's, uh, let's show everybody this poster, which you so beautifully have coordinated your outfit well, to Well, I did. This Christy's morning. favorite color is purple, oh. so in, in her honor, I wore purple today. Oh my gosh, I love it. And so tell us about Christy. Christy Buster was born and raised in the Valley. She's 29 years old, a very young woman. Um, had stomach pains for much of the winter, kept going to the doctor, couldn't figure it out. And finally, after being persistent, which is really to her credit, they discovered that she had non-Hodgkin's um, non lymphoma um, of the ovary. So she is now um, in a position where she can't work right now. She's going through chemo and radiation, and the prognosis is great, but a medical, a medical diagnosis like that really sets you back because right. you don't have an income, but those bills don't stop. So. Right, and you know, and especially up here in the high country too, it's a little bit different because a lot of people have more than one job. That's just kind of the mm -hmm. way that it works to yeah. make things, uh, make ends meet up here. And so to not be able to actually, you know, carry things or be able to make it to the second job, that can be so it's really cute. awful, yeah. So tomorrow night at the Coyote Cafe, we're having a big fundraiser and so, such great thanks to Coyote Cafe. They're just, they're rolling out all the stops for Christy. She's worked there and they're just fabulous. But we have over 125 silent auctions items I mean that is a testimony to our community right and the way the community comes together and just says wow there's somebody that's that's down and that we want to help and so it, it will be a remarkable evening tomorrow night and now you have known Christy for how long I have for 24 years she and my oldest son were in kindergarten together so I've known Christy for most of her life and um, we both work up at Beaver Creek together as well and so know her in a lot of different ways and there are so many folks that know she and her family because they've been in the valley for such a long time and so tomorrow night, it's from 5 to 8 at the Coyote Cafe. Tickets are $25, which gets you some food and two drink tickets, and just a great way to support Christy and, and come out and have a great evening. Right, meet, meet the locals in person and be able to actually really make a big difference in the life of someone right here in the Vale Valley. And, you know, maybe somebody, um, maybe they can't make it to the event, but they'd like to donate and actually help out that way. How would, how would they someone do that? They could sure do that. If they go to www.vvcf.org for Vale Valley Charitable Fund, there is a link there and they can just put Christy in the memo and we'll make sure that, that fund, those funds go directly to her. Oh, so perfect. Now, can we talk a little bit about some of the silent auction items and some of the things that people can actually find? Sure, here? there are great things. I looked at the list and tried to like make a summary, but out of 120 <laughs> Five things, but there's a full epic pass, which is really hard to get Whoa. these days at a silent auction. So, Air Resorts has been very generous. Dinners and hotel stays, and skis and snowboards, and I mean, gift baskets and spas. And I mean, if you can't find something there for yourself or for a gift or some early Christmas shopping, then you're not shopping in the right place. <laughs> Oh, I love it. Michelle, thank you so much for coming on and just sharing with us. And uh, and you guys, make sure you head on out there tomorrow night. It's going to be a lot of fun. Again, it's from 5 to 8 p.m. at the Coyote Cafe. You can come out, support Christy, meet all the locals, and, of course, do a little shopping at the silent auction. We're going to take a quick break, and we'll be right back with more Good Morning Vale.